quantify statements. The quantifiers are the words all, some, no, or none. For example, the statements containing a quantifier, like the first one, all poets are writers, some people are bigots, no math books have pictures, some students do not work hard. Equivalent ways of expressing quantified statement. As you see on the left column, the statement in the form of all, A, R, B. An equivalent way to express this statement is there are no A that are not B. Example, all poets are writer. We can write in the equivalent way as there are no poets that are not writers. For the statement some, A, R, B, an equivalent way to express this statement as there exists at least one A, that is a B. For example, some people are bigots. So we can write in the equivalent way as at least one person is a bigot. For the statement no, A, R, B, an equivalent way to express this statement is all A and not B. Example, if we have the statement, no math books have pictures, an equivalent way of this is all math books do not have pictures. Some A are not B. We have the quantifier some not. An equivalent way to express this statement is not all A, R, B. Examples, if we have some students do not work hard, an equivalent way is not all students work hard. If you think about the Venn diagram, that what you saw in chapter two, to represent the sets, for the statements all A, R, B, we can write the two circles, A and B. We can write A inside of the B. And with this way, if A is inside, we can say that there are no A that are not B because all A is in B. For the second case, some A are B. We have A, we have B, we have the overlapping part. That would be that portion or the intersection of the set A, set B. The meaning of this is there exists at least one A that is a B, which is the shaded region. Another way we say it, or an equivalent way would be at least one A that is a B. So that means at least one member of A that's in B. The third one, no A, R, B, we can represent it as the set that they are totally like apart from each other. A and B don't have anything in common. Another way we say that is all A are not B. Anything in A will not be in B. The last case, some A are not B. If we represent as the overlapping portion, the part of the A that is not B would be the one that outside of the B. An equivalent way that not all of the A are B because just the portion of the A that belong to B, not all of them. Negation of quantify statement. We call the quantifier all, some, some not, and none. Okay, the negation of this, as you see the arrow, all A, R, B has negation in the form of some A, R, not B. The negation of some A, R, B is no A, R, B. The quick tip to represent this, you can write all the quantifier as the four corners, starting with the overall the all, some, some not, and none, or no. As you see, the way that I use, I started starting from the upper left and then go 
counterclockwise from overall get less and less and less until you get to none when you set up the four corners with the right quantifier you draw the arrow crossway or diagonally this one you can get the pattern of the negation of each quantifier for this page some examples of quantified statement and their negation the statement all writers are poets negation some writers are not poets so from the the way that we set up so gonna be i'm gonna rewrite this all some some not and no and we do crossway for the all statement, the opposite would be sum not. The opposite of the sum or negation of sum would be none. Examples. For each quantified statement below, part A, we're going to express it in an equivalent way. And that has exactly the same meaning. And in part B, we're going to write the negation of that quantifier. To get us uh, started, we're going to write a diagram to recognize the negation, starting with the quantifier all, some, some not, and no. So do crossway. So this one going to tell the negation. So for number one, Part A, we're going to write the equivalent way. We call the equivalent way from the diagram, uh, from the table. All A's are B. There are no A that are not B. So in our case, the A, the A is dog and B is animal. So the equivalent way would be there are no dog. that are not animal. So part A is equivalent way and part B is the negation. So for part B, the negation of the all is some not. So we can write some dogs are not, this is some and not here. Some dogs are not animals. Okay. And then for number two, I'm going to draw the diagram for negation again. All, some, some not, and no, and then do crossway. So this one for negation. For number two, the equivalent way of some A, R, B. I'm going to highlight. So this is going to be the A, and this part is B. From the table, as you see, some A, R, B is equivalent equivalent to there exists at least one A that is a B. So we can write as there exists at least one video games, one video game, okay? That is non-violent and for the negation so part a we call this equivalent part b is negation negation of some is none so we can say no video games are non-violent for number three, the equivalent of no A, A, B. This is your A and this is your B. Based on a table, no A, A, B is equivalent to all A, A, not B. So we can write it as all 
math courses are not hard. And when we look at the negation, negation of no is some. Okay, so we can write it as some math courses. Uh, are hard. For the last example, the equivalent of some not to highlight this, some kids do not like video games. Some A not B. Some A are not B is equivalent to not all A are B. So we can write this as not all kids do like, uh, not all kids like video game. And the last one, the negation of this statement for some not, the some not is a negation. The negation of some not is all. So we can say all kids do like video games. 